Hi everybody, welcome to Arabesque Bootcamp. If you are trying to get your arabesque higher and stronger, you've come to the right place. We're gonna do a little warm up, some exercises, a couple of things at the bar to kind of get you going and strong. And hopefully if you do this consistently, you will see higher arabesque results. Now remember, arabesque is not just about getting your leg higher, right? If you just get your leg higher, that's only leg flexibility. Because when we're in arabesque, right, we, we, want, we want both this length but also this length. So you need the back strength combined with the leg flexibility. So actually we're going to start with a little warm-up. I want you to start on your hands and knees. Start on your hands and knees. We're going to warm up the back. This is super important. So I want you to arch the back and curl. Arch the back. Let's do this four times. And curl. Huge part of improving your arabesque is actually loosening your spine. If you're locked, it's not going to go up. And curl. Last one, arch. And curl. Good. Sit cross-legged comfortably, however you want to sit. And we're going to do some other things here. So I want you to arch the back also here. Arch your back. And curl your back. Good. Tuck the chin. Arch the back and curl the back. Let's add some arms. So arch the back, round forward, curl. Arch and curl. Couple more. Arch and curl. Last one, arch and curl. Good, come back up to sitting. Now we're gonna get the spine a different way. I don't want you to bend. I want you to literally keep your spine where it is and just tilt the shoulders. So you're not going to go very far. We're just going to tilt. Think of lengthening this side while keeping this side long. And back up. Good. Up and tilt. I'm not bending my waist at all. Good. I'm not going this way. Right? This is staying the same. Up and tilt the shoulders. Come back up. Up and tilt the shoulders. And come back up. One more each side. Up, tilt. Keep the length. Good, thinking of literally elongating your spine. Last one, tilt, back up. Now I want you to arch the back down and curl the back up. So we're getting in the spine. Arch the back down and curl. Arch down and curl. Good, arch down and curl. Now we're gonna reverse it. So tuck the chin, curl and arch up. If I remember and can, I like to do this before class, before performances. It kind of gets my back looser, and you'll find it feels better. And up. Last one. Curl it down and arch it up. Good. Now we're a little bit warmer on the spine. So now we're going to lay on our stomach and do some back exercises. So make sure you have a mat or somewhat of a comfortable floor. So we're going to lay on our stomach. Tuck the chin under the hands. I'm sure you've seen these before. I'm sure I've given you these before. All we're going to do is very, very slowly keeping your feet. The, the, the trick with this, you guys, keep your heels glued together. It's a whole different ball game than letting the legs fly. Because remember, when your leg's behind you in Arabesque, you want it to be behind you. If you break your heels apart, look what happens. You're going to train your Arabesque not crossed. So we want to train and strengthen your back with a crossed arabesque, arabesque, hence keep the heels glued. So keeping the heels together and on the floor, all we're going to do to start is to lift up and down. You're not going to go very far. Up and down. Heels together, feet on the floor, down, up and down. Up, we're going to eight, down. Six. Good. Two more. Lengthening. Don't crunch. It's not about height at all. Last one. Good. Keep the head on the floor. We're going to lengthen the legs. Again, we're not about crunching it up. You're going to lengthen the legs. So keep the heels up, glued together, and down. And up. And down. And up. I'm barely moving it. Down. And up. And down. And up, 
and down. Good. Up and down. Two more. Up. Last one. Up and down. Everything together, keeping the heels glued. Up and down. Lengthen. Don't crunch. Think of getting longer, and that makes you come off the floor. And down. Up. Down. Keep going. Up. Doing great. Up. I'm feeling it. Two more. Up. Do you feel how keeping your heels glued together is a totally different ball game? Good. Sit back on the heels. Stretch out a little bit. Let the back release. Good. Strengthening your back like that will do you no good if you're trying to just get height and you let the legs sway because we need to keep it crossed. That's the point of air rest. That's why people can't get their air rest up without opening in them because we're not training properly. So come back to the floor. I wanted to give your back a break. We're going to do one more. So, you're going to have the arms stretched out in front of you. We're going to lift the legs off. Keep them glued. We're going to swim. One, two, three. Change. Keep the legs together. Swim, swim, swim. Good. Swim, swim, swim. Keep it going. Flutter. But keep those heels as tight as you can. Good. Flutter. Good. Five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Good. Okay. From here, last exercise here, you're doing great. Come up, hold the heels together in first, sweep the arms back and front. Good. Back and front. And back, front. Good. Legs are off, front. Heels together, off, back and front. Good. Swan, back, front. We're going to 10, back, front. You got this. Back, front. Two more. Back, front last one, back, and front. Good. Sit on your heels, stretch out your back. Very nice. Good. Come back up to sitting. Let's do a couple more arches and curls down to loosen that back up. So just arch forward and roll it up. And arch it forward. And roll it up. And arch. And roll it up. Let's do the curl forward. So tuck the chin, curl. And arch. Good. Curl. And arch. One more. Curl. And arch. Good. Let's stand up. Okay, so we're going to do some ballet exercises. We're not going to do any like combinations. Um, with music or anything because I just want to work on the actual physicality of it. I don't want you to worry about memorizing combinations. So actually, we're going to face the bar. I'm going to face this way so you can see what I'm doing. I want you to start in first. And I want you to feel like the floor isn't there. So when we tondu arabesque, which is what we're going to do, I want you to not feel like, I want you to go down and out. So we're going to tondu arabesque. Do this with me. Tondu. Now, instead of lifting from your back, reach towards that wall. Lengthen. Three inches off the floor. Don't move anything. Good. Maybe six inches. Tondu. And first. Other side. Tondu. Lengthen. Nothing changes up here. Tondu. And first. Back to the first side. Tondu. All we're doing, think of the leg being so long that it lifts off the floor. Don't change your upper body. Tondu. And first. Good. Other side. Reach away from you. Tondu. And first, keep it going. Tondu. Reach the wall behind you. Good. Tondu. Don't change your upper body. Don't lean. It's hard. Tondu. It's not about height right now. We're just lengthening. Tondu. And first, two more. Tondu. Reach behind you. Don't change your upper body. And first. Same muscles you worked on the floor. Up. Tondu. And first, rest. Now, the other thing with arabesque, I want you to start using your inner thigh. If you use your hip, you're going to crunch yourself. So we're going to do one more set, and I want you to feel the inner thigh. That same reach, that same lengthen, but start it from the inner thigh. I'm going to face you. Here we go. Tondu. Now lift with the inner thigh. Does it go higher? Yes, it does. 
See? First, don't change your upper body, though. Tondu, you don't even need the bar. Don't change the upper body. Tondu. First, again, inner thigh. Tondu. Upper body stays. Lift with the inner thigh. Good. Tondu. And first. And again. Tondu. Inner thigh. Tondu. Amazing, isn't it? Uh-huh. Don't change the upper body. Keep going. Tondu. Lengthen, reach. Inner thigh. Don't change the hip. First. Good. Tondu. Inner thigh. Tondu. And first. Two more. Tondu. Don't change the upper body. Tondu. And first. Last one. Tondu. Up. Tondu. And first. Good. Shake it out. Doing great. Now, a little bit more lift. We're going to start in passe. I want you to do passe to attitude. Passe, attitude, eight times. Same thing, lifting inner thigh. This is not about height. This is not about an Instagram photo. I don't want you to move this at all. We're strengthening. This is not about the look right now. So from here, passe, here we go. Attitude, don't change your upper body. Passe, attitude, good, passe. Attitude, it doesn't look pretty, but that's okay. Use your inner thigh, attitude. Don't change your upper body, passe. Attitude, passe. Attitude, two more, passe. Attitude, passe, and attitude. Rest, we gotta do the other side. The reason we're not moving the upper body now, again, is for strength. In class, when we go to attitude, you're gonna move forward slightly. It is what it is. But when you're trying to strengthen and you're doing exercises, it's not about the line. It's about trying to not move the upper body so we're building the strength so that when you're in class, it's easier to go by itself. Let's do the other side. I'm gonna flip the bar so I can face you. So, here we go. Passe. Don't move the upper body. Attitude. Passe. Attitude. Uh-huh. Passe. Attitude. Good. Try and stay. Still, it's hard. Passe. Attitude. Good. Don't move the upper body. Attitude. That's it. Two more. Good. Last one. You're going to have one side better than the other. Good. I want to do that all again. Stretch it out. Again, I reiterate, not going for an Instagram photo. <laughs> We're going for strength. So, I'll go this way. We go. Passe. Attitude, don't move the upper body, passe. Attitude, good. This stays still, work your back muscle, feel the inner thigh. Passe, attitude, passe, attitude, good. Passe, attitude, two more. Good, last one, attitude. Good, relax, last side, doing great, passe. Attitude. Try and keep it still. Slightly crossed. Good. Passe. Attitude. That's it. Passe. Attitude. Keep it going. I know your back's already tired. So is mine. <laughs> Maybe I should do this more. Good. And last one. Arabesque. Good. Or attitude. Stretch it out. Now, real quick, while we're here, try and do a normal arabesque. Feel lighter? Uh-huh. That's why you train not moving forward. So we get stronger so that when you can move forward, it goes up easier. Okay. In the last couple weeks, I feel like my Airbus has gotten better because I've been doing Giselle every day. And that has a lot of Airbus. <laughs> so I got this one from Giselle. You know the, the Adagio with plie? Okay. Start in Tondu. Height doesn't matter again. We're not going for ponche. Ponche is an entirely different step. Ponche has to do with your hamstring flexibility, not your back strength, right? Because you can have a beautiful ponche and not be able to do an arabesque. Ponche, yes, we keep our back up, but it's more about this hamstring than trying to stay lifted. Ponche is a different story. So from here, start tawny back. Height doesn't matter. We're going to do plie arabesque, straighten up, plie arabesque, tendu. Keep your back up. Plie arabesque, 
straighten up. I don't care how high it is, as long as your back is up. Plie arabesque, sorry, tendu. Repeat. Plie, straighten, plie, tendu. Plie. Keep it up. Maybe lift it higher. Tendu. Four more sets. Plie. Lift it up. Shoulder square. Inner thigh. Tendu. Three more. Plie. Lift it up. Plie. Tendu. This is why we warmed your back up. Plie. Again, I'm not worried about height. I'm worried about keeping this. And your inner thigh. Last one. Plie. And lift. Plie. Tendu. Rest. See, it's so much harder when we don't move forward. So much harder. Again, not worried about height. Let's do the other leg. So I'm going to face you. You can face whichever direction. Here we go. Start Tawny back. Plie arabesque. Straighten arabesque. Just keep it lifted. Tawny. Good. Plie arabesque. Keep the back up. Straighten. Keep it up. Lift it higher. Tawny. Shoulder square. Plie. Straighten. Plie. Tawny. Plie. Straighten. Plie. Tendu. Four more. You got it. Plie. Straighten. Plie. Tendu. Doing great. Plie. Straighten. Plie. Just two more. You got this. We're not repeating this one. Up unless you want to. Plie. Tendu. Last one. Plie. And up. Plie. Tendu. Good. Yeah. If you want to go back and repeat that exercise, you can. Don't have to because we did all the other stuff. <sighs> Breathe. I'm going to stop it there. Do you know why? Because you don't need to do a half an hour of training. A little bit is great. You do these exercises, these few couple exercises, you're going to see so much improvement. You don't even have to do it along with this once you've memorized it. Get those exercises in. I guarantee you, you're going to feel stronger in your back. You're going to feel stronger in your arabesque. So uh, let me know what other boot camps you guys want. Leave me a comment in the box below. I've also included my membership link down there. Some of you had a lot of trouble finding it. Um, I have already put a class up for them, so right there in the box. Love you all so very much, and I'll see you next time.